My Moho BFF Kat Choli asked me the other day, Hi Danny, do you know if it's possible at all to add vector animated noise to a warp player that's connected to a bitmap? And I was like, ah, Kat, no. I can see why you think that would work, but it doesn't work in the way that you think it would. But guess what? There is a workaround. So I'm going to flip back over to Moho and show you what I mean. I'm going to import a PNG. Ta-da! I'll just make that bigger so you can see it. And with this PNG selected, I'm going to create a mesh from it. So I have my layer selected. I come to draw, create mesh layer. Now this might need a little bit of cleanup. Um, it might not be perfect. That's okay. It's easy to add just as any vector layer. You can just use the add points tool. Now to make this work and to make the noise affect the bitmap entirely, we're going to need a lot more points. And we can just keep adding points as many as we want from as much articulation as we want. I am randomly adding these. I have no plan. There we go. Once we think we have enough points, then we can use the hack. So with the points selected, I come up to scripts, warp, wavy, and this is going to generate some animated noise on these vector points that are selected. And I can play with these to your heart's content. But what that will do is it will generate a bunch of keyframes and animation on this vector warp layer that is then driving the bitmap beneath it. It does create a key on every frame, but of course, now that we have some keys, we can delete some of these. So we can put it on twos quite simply by just deleting some, blah, 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 just like this. And they're editable, controllable. You can, you know, add noise to these or whatever. But there you go. We've got a wavy, noisy bitmap. And that's how you can utilize a bit of vector noise on your bitmap drawings in Moho. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Kat. I hope that helps. <laughs>